This will be a short video showing you how to take apart the throttle on the new KQI scooters and uh, what could go wrong on the old style throttle. Uh, new told me that uh, they already fixed this issue so going forward uh, this should no longer happen on the new throttles that are better put together. You can see the screw here. So let's take the screw out completely. So it's just a normal Allen screw. Okay, and now we can take uh, this ring off, which is holding the slot in place. Just slide in there. And now it's about figuring out how to get to the wiring on the inside to see if there is any issues with that. A couple of users reported the same fault with the throttle on the new KQI scooters and usually from what I've seen it's because the wire on the inside here gets damaged. Okay so I managed to take the throttle apart. This is the section that uh, wires go in. There is one more screw there that should allow us to see the connection and whether it's fine or damaged. This is the two other parts of the throttle. You have the spring in between these two and then these sweep clips from the grey part click into the into this part here and it's uh, not easy to remove the two from each other I ended up doing it by cutting out this piece of plastic from a yogurt cup and and putting it in like this and pressing all three of the plastic clips at the same time and that released the grey part and uh, the whole photo came apart. It will be interesting trying to put back together. So now let's take a look at this part here. Okay so let's try to remove the screw. You should also be careful because there is a lot of grease on all the inside parts of the throttle. So the this part just slides out. There is a some sort of silicone rubber material that's sealing the cables in. Then here you can see the cables. When you encounter the throttle error, the easiest way is to just replace the whole throttle with a new one. It 
even if you are outside of warranty, this should be a cheap part. So probably just best to contact new and get a new one and then just replace it and connect everything back up together. Here you can see the throttle taken apart. So the problem seems to have been uh, this green cable because when I unscrewed this part and moved it, the green cables just slid out from the rubber heat shrink and came uh, straight out so it wasn't holding properly so that was probably what resulted in the bed connection. So now I'm gonna try to solder it back into place and see if it still works but as I mentioned already it's easier to just replace the throttle. It turns out I don't have the right tools to solder such tiny cables so I will have to end it here. If I decide to buy the needed tools in the future I may come back to this repair again and I will put an update in the video description. For now I just have to replace the throttle with a new one. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful and if you would like to see future videos on electric scooters and support the channel please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.